Oh well, it's so hot today. I should be doing a video about drought and water collection or something like that. Not meat bunnies, but no matter what, I'm trying to uh, introduce a new concept, a new segment into the channel called All Them Questions. And in this segment, what I'm going to do is go online and try to dig up all the questions that I can find on a specific topic or an idea. And this means like everything that I can find. The good questions, the bad questions, the stupid questions. Maybe I shouldn't say stupid because there's no such thing as stupid questions, but you know what I mean. So with that out of the way, the first topic that I chose to find all the questions on uh, is going to be meat rabbits because a lot of people seem to have questions about meat rabbits and I've only been um, raising them for about almost two years now but I don't want to do how-to videos because two years for me is not something that I feel comfortable uh, to to teach people but I can answer questions just from my experience from the experience that I got from other people by asking them and and learning from them I can share that with with you guys so I'll try to go as quick as possible through these questions because there's 75 questions or let's say maybe 70 um, because some of them just uh, have a bad habit of repeating themselves in different word um, placement but it's the same question so if you want me to do longer formats where I take each question and I spend as much time needed to answer it let me know in the comments of this video uh, and I'm happy to do five hour long videos if, if you have the patience to sit through them but right now I'll try to go as quick as possible and as to the point as possible through each question first question what <laughs> when to slaughter meat rabbits that's like a really good icebreaker when to slaughter meat rabbits from my experience the best time to slaughter them is between 8 and 12 weeks but this is very 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 important on what you feed them so minerals vitamins the feed that you're gonna wow the box today go away let me let me do stuff the, the feed is going to be essential and the conditions. So if do they have access to the outdoors? Do they have access to some grass? Do they have access to fresh air? Or do you keep them in a garage somewhere closed with fluorescent light? All of these things take into account. Quick answer, 8 to 12 weeks. That's a good time to, to um, slaughter them. But caveat here. Or well, not caveat. Um, uh, my how do i put this um, my preference is to not harvest the young ones but to perpetuate the generation and get the young ones to be always fertile and you know keep on pumping babies or producing babies and the older ones which are established which have all the meat and the fat and the flavor harvest them you take it the way you want it oh i said i'm gonna be fucking quick about this but look at me next question when to kill meat rabbits is it's the same it's the same answer when to breed meat rabbits this is a good question uh quick answer is um eight months to one year for the does and uh, six months to eight months for the bucks that's when they reach uh, sexual maturity though i have seen and experienced bucks at four months being able to impregnate um, older does so be careful boys will be boys let me get a sip oh mike why are you drinking coffee it's so hot your head is gonna explode your heart is gonna explode you're gonna have a heart attack and your family is gonna cry relax it's fake coffee it doesn't have any coffee and is that Inca, whatever, not a sponsor coffee that doesn't have coffee in acorn coffee. Um, I, I, I just, I'm trying to let coffee um, make me happy just with flavor, not with coffee, because I, I drink too much coffee. So this is my solution. It can be drunk in the heat. Next coffee. Uh, next, next question. <laughs> See, I do need coffee. When to harvest meat rabbits? Same answer, same question when to process meat rabbits same answer when to butcher meat rabbits oh my god this is all about butchering same answer 
when to wean meat rabbits finally a good question weaning meaning when to take the young babies away from the mother so you can let the mother rest and or rebreed her and so on um, my answer would be after four weeks of, of birth so when they're one month uh, you can we can you can win them but make sure that they eat solids do not win them if they're still eat, uh, drinking just the mother's milk they shouldn't by that time if you make you know grass and hay and pellets available uh, they know how to drink water and how to eat solids on their own four weeks is perfect i honestly i keep them for six weeks just because i want to give the mother as much time uh, away from breeding as possible even if she has to have the babies with her for two extra weeks and i know people who keep them for eight weeks up to you and depending on your situation but four weeks if they eat solids and they drink water on their own you're good to win them next when to meet rabbits whenever you want <laughs> i don't know what the question <laughs> next how much do meat rabbits sell for i don't know because it's based on each country it's based on each part of the country and city and town and so on here in my area and i live in in, in poland uh, i bought my uh, baby californian rabbits i have californian meat rabbits uh, for if i convert the currency for about for about nine or ten dollars each and the the dough was two months old and the buck was four months old so i think those are more expensive for some reason well they get bigger so maybe that's why but i also have friends uh, in the states that say they're selling them as babies for seven dollars to ten dollars i don't know i think it depends a lot on the pedigree uh, if they have pedigree if you want to raise pedigree bunnies or if they're just from somebody's backyard and you just literally want them to eat to, to for meat so price may vary but i mean poland and uh, usa are an ocean apart and the prices are similar so you draw your own conclusion there's a lot of places where you can gouge for the prices like facebook marketplace olax craigslist each country has this type of online market um, marketplace where you can just inquire and see what people are selling them from so i would say start there next question how long do meat rabbits live for it, what i'm going to say is going to be a bit uh, controversial but it's between five and ten years five years if you breed them like crazy if you just out there for for squeezing as much out of them as possible 10 years if you really take good care of them in a pet environment pet situation where you just have one bunny you snip snip and because that's important you know snipping the the nuts or, or uh nurturing i cannot pronounce that word you know what i mean by saying snipping that in increases their life because of all the hormonal imbalances that may come if you don't snip them um i have read online but this is anecdotal of rabbits living 12 to 15 years i don't know i i haven't experienced that myself people lie all the time but five to ten years ten years being best outcome best care best love and attention and vet bills and all of that five years being your average bunny i mean let's put it this way my my grandparents used to raise uh, meat rabbits and they took good care of them but the bunnies never went past three years because they would just rotate they would always bring young blood in the in the rotation to you know keep the genetic happy and keep the bunnies as healthy and as rejuvenated as possible they wouldn't keep old bunnies up to um past three years they would keep uh, three years just the best producers and then keep babies from the best producers onwards next question that is going to take so long uh, how to raise meat rabbits just like any other rabbit i would not keep them in colonies 
because they're diggers. I mean, I love my bunnies. I, I love them with a passion. But as soon as I leave them outside in a tractor or in the animal pen, they just dig and dig and dig and um, and they chew as well. So they, they're not just diggers, they're chewers. So my answer would be build them a nice sturdy hutch with a um, metal net for flooring so the poop and the pee can drain properly down and wow the bugs are eating me and they don't sit in their own field and especially in the summer months um, flies come and lay their eggs and if the manure doesn't go down they will literally sit in in what's the word i'm looking for in worms and maggots so there's a million billion trillion hatch designs out there uh, i i have one as well i'm going to link it up here you do whatever you like whatever works for you whatever financial uh, possibilities you have but i would say keep them in a hatch in the shade hatch shade done that's how you raise them how much meat rabbits maybe the question is how many it says how much well as much as you want think about it like this one meat rabbit can feed a family uh, for for one meal like one meal and this thinking from the respectful respectful approach to um, harvesting uh, livestock in the sense of you don't just eat the the back legs and and all the meaty parts no you take the bones and you make broth with it you make a stew with the parts that don't have so much meat you fry the very meaty parts you know and that can feed a, 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 a two kids and parents a family of four can be fed by one bunny so if you want to have rabbit once a meat multiply that by 52 weeks in a year so 52 meat rabbits here you go next question uh, how many meat rabbits per person? <laughs> Depends on your appetite. As I just said, one one bunny a week from a, for a family of four. If you guys like to eat, uh, you know, volume, then double that. I don't know, that, just double the amount. So uh, bear in mind that one um, bunny dough can, uh, if the conditions are right, uh, can kindle three, four times a year. And if she's good, she's healthy, and she's a good producer, she can have between 7 and 12 babies in each litter. So let's put an average of, let's put the minimum, yeah, 7 times 4. That's 28 from just one dough in one year. So if you want... 52, so just four, four doughs producing four times a year should should cover a hundred plus bunnies. Here you go. You don't need necessarily more than two bucks, yeah, if you want to have that volume of a hundred plus bunnies because um, one is just back uh, backup in case the first one gets sick or dies or something happens to it, a predator gets to it or something, you have a, a backup. Next question. How are meat rabbits killed? Uh, I cannot really explain it properly just by voice. So I'll put a link in the description to a place where I think they, they do it justice. They treat the animal with respect and they do it as quick and as efficient as possible. Um, it's from um, Joel Salatin's um, farm. And I think his son uh, is the one processing the meat rabbits. And I'll, I'll put the link over there. You guys can see it. I think it's... a seven eight minute video and it shows you everything you need to know and i think that's the way to process uh, meat rabbits i've seen how they do it in china where they just str string strung the the meat bunnies on a conveyor belt on hooks while they're still alive and then they go through this machine and i just pulls the the whole skin and fur off of them while they're still alive and screaming oh wow just seeing that in my mind uh, it's it's inhumane as fuck so i'm not gonna put the link to that shit here uh, you guys go and look at it online but i think everybody should see how factory farming is treating the meat that we eat three times a day or one time a day or whatever
Okay, sorry about that. Didn't mean to get emotional here. How many meat rabbits do I need? I think we covered that uh, in the previous answers. How does meat? Uh, how does rabbit meat taste? That's a good question. In my opinion, I think it tastes like a combination between chicken meat and deer meat. Um, why do I say this? I had both of them. Uh, I say this because deer meat has that gamey and a bit barnyardy taste, and chicken meat is chicken meat. So when you mix those two, you get what what the rabbit meat tastes, in my opinion. Um, but flavor and taste is going to be different based on what you feed that animal. So does it have access to fresh grass, the vitamins, the mineral, the air? That's going to have a huge impact, just like, just like grass-fed beef to cave for beef. Um, but a, a base, a standard, I think that's, that's the way I would characterize the taste uh, of rabbit meat. There's a, there's a trick here that I would like to share with you before we move to the next question. Just like beef, um, rabbit meat benefits from being hung for three to five days after processing. If you just eat it straight away fresh, it, it doesn't taste like anything special, like anything wow. It's just going to taste like meat, you know? Yeah, let's have some meat. But most of you meat eaters do know that the flavor of dry aged beef is so much superior to fresh beef or unaged beef or frozen just fresh and frozen pack so the same i prefer to harvesting my bunnies in the colder months november december january february because i can just the, the temperature outside is below zero celsius uh, I don't know what's that in Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit maybe 30 Fahrenheit, but anyway, below cel zero Celsius, below there. When it's fucking cold outside and the meat is not going to spoil, or if you have like a cellar that's, that's cold, you can hang them for three to five days or more. You know, if the temperature is low enough between five and eight um, Celsius, you can hang them for a week, two weeks until you smell it and you're happy with the aromas and the flavors and then you cook it and trust me you're gonna have um, an exquisite experience next question which rabbit is good for meat well all rabbits are good for meat the the size is what makes it different uh, what makes a meat rabbit meat rabbit is how big they get how heavy they get and after you process you butcher them how much you're left with of course, I'm going to be biased because I love Californian rabbits and I would uh, I would encourage everybody to at least try to raise them for a year and then make their own conclusions. But you have Californian, you have uh, Flemish Giant, you have um, New Zealand, Rex, Belgian. Just a quick Google and it's going to give you a, less, uh, a list of 27 or 37 potential meat rabbit um, breeds that you're going to be able to find easy you can find them easily the thing is when you go and and try to, to buy bunnies you you'll find a lot of meat rabbits because people raise them for food and a lot of pet rabbits like the the minis and the loops and the tiny miniature ones because people keep them as pets uh, the in-between categories are harder to find because not many people are really interested in those okay so that answers the question. Uh, there's two more questions below that are connected. Um, which breed is the best for meat? What kind of breed is the best for meat? So it does the same, the same category. Next, how to keep meat rabbits. You keep them in your loving arms and you do this. Uta, 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 uta. Now, how to keep them? Well, I, I mentioned it previously. You build them a nice sturdy hatch and you keep them in the hatch. I wouldn't keep them outside. I know there's many advocates for colony, um, um, for having colonies of bunnies, but imagine if one digs all the tunnels, imagine when they bound together and all of them dig all the tunnels, they will escape. You, you, you need to be there and police them, police uh, around the, the perimeter of the, of the colony. That's not worth it in my opinion. Next, um, what is the best meat rabbit? up to you you go and look <laughs> into the um, into the breeds and you draw that conclusion i 
think that the Californian is the best for me. But what do you look for? Do you want uh, just weight? Do you want the cute cuteness fa factor? Do you want personality? Do you want um, do you want them to be multi-purpose? Like, okay, there's the meat aspect, but the fur as well. The reason why I like the Californian is that at one point in their breeding process, they were crossbred with the chinchilla rabbit. That makes their fur super, super soft and nice and pleasant. So um, when, when I'm going to have the time and the possibility, I do intend in um, tanning the, the hides and making some, you know, nice products from them. You need to ask yourself this question and, and answer it based on your needs and your climate, your situation. Um, we answered this already, what uh, rabbit meat tastes like. Next, what is rabbit meat called? Well, rabbit meat is called rabbit meat. I didn't know if there's any other uh, names for it, so I went online, I looked for it nobody calls it different you know some other meats they're called mutton and veal and all kind of other terms and terminologies rabbit meat is rabbit meat next uh, what meat rabbit i think this is the same like what what category what breed we answered that next question what meat is rabbit what meat is rabbit maybe they mean what kind of meat is it white meat dark meat red meat well it, it's um it's a white meat if that's the question then it's it's a white meat next where does rabbit meat come from from the rabbits next hello ducks the ducks are very um active behind me here um next question meet rabbits uk <laughs> that's a bit uh, nationalistic you, you know what was the difference between the rabbits in the uk and the ones on in italy or in the states i don't know i've been to a couple of places and everybody had similar rabbits none of them have had horns or or maybe it's the easter bunny uh, that's that special bunny you know a bunny that lays eggs colored eggs of chocolate <laughs> Maybe that's what they meant. Next question. It's, uh, is, is rabbit meat nice? I think it is. That's like, let's put it this way. I don't raise the meat, the Californian meat rabbits just for meat. I raise them mainly for their, um, for the manure because it's like a slow release fertilizer for the garden and it's the main source of fertility in my garden. When I got them, I got them with this main purpose the meat was a, a not even a secondary was like a, a fifth place you know i i love them for for the manure i love them for how cute and intelligent and for their personality i love them because they're they're i don't know they're just a soul that is grateful when you take good care of them so the meat is is for me personally along the line but that was a rabbit hole i'll move on now <laughs> okay next question can meat rabbits can meat rabbits what that's lazy finish the question next question can rabbit meat make you sick finally a good question the answer is yes it can actually kill you and now the only three people that were watching this video just sw switch out and stop watching no listen um there is such a thing uh, called call, there is such a thing as protein poisoning or starvation by rabbit meat and this is a phenomenon that happened many times in history, but it's really well cataloged when um, the colonists came uh, to the States. And because they had very little food to begin with, um, they started hunting. But the main 
available animal to hunt was rabbit and there was like humongous amounts of rabbits so they would just hunt rabbits and eat rabbits non-stop 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 and they started getting sick and dying and it was called uh, meat rabbit starvation or protein poisoning more more than when the phenomenon was understood why because rabbit meat is very low on cholesterol and on fats and very high in protein and your body needs um, ample amounts of fat to function because your brain is like 70% fat here you go I say it fat is good sue me uh, and this is why this is very dangerous it is good in a normal balanced diet to have rabbit meat because of the positive things that I mentioned that can become a negative when uh, you eat just rabbit meat just like everything in life moderation you know don't have too much of one thing because it's gonna have uh, uh, a negative effect so yes rabbit meat can make you sick if you eat just rabbit meat apart from that there is no um, there is no known disease that can transition from rabbit to human even like when you work with their manure to, to fertilize your garden this is an extra reason why I wanted to have rabbits for their manure because um, you can you can lay layer the, the 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 base of the plant with rabbit manure and it's not going to affect the the fruit of that plant next question uh, can rabbit meat kill you yes we answered that can rabbits eat can meat rabbits eat dot 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 well as again a very lazy question they can eat a lot of stuff and um, how do I answer this question as quick as possible I'll put a link in the description just to kind of um, give you an understanding of what's allowed and what's not allowed but anything that's grass hay they can eat as long as it's not moldy or wet so when it's grass you make sure that you don't give them wet grass because that's gonna give them diarrhea and one thing about rabbits is that they have a very sensitive digestive tract if that gets upset and something happens to it and they stop eating they're done they're as good as dead if that digestive tract doesn't work non-stop they eat non-stop they even in the night they wake up and they eat so they keep that system working non-stop with with dry hay make sure it's not moldy it's not wet uh, and and has all kind of funguses inside fungi funguses fungi there's certain vegetables and fruits they can have there's certain vegetables and fruits they cannot have I'll put a link because I cannot answer this properly I, I should do a video just on that next question can meat rabbit survive winter the answer is yes it gets to minus 25 Celsius where I'm at and it's like nothing to them you know the problem is in the summer they will survive winter they will thrive in winter because of the thick fur they have they will suffer in the summer so make sure the hutch that we spoke about before that you're going to build for them is in the shade with ample access to fresh water and and they have space you know they have space they're not clumped in a small space that they cannot have any air circulation it's hot and imagine if I'm it's it's 32 Celsius out today and I'm dying and I don't have a fur coat on me so imagine how they feel in the same uh, situation rabbits can die in hot summers if they don't have shade so be careful next question can meet rabbits in breed the answer is yes I would I would advise you not to do it inbreeding is a bad practice that uh, was put forward before out of maybe desperation out of laziness out of lack of available genetics let's say you live in the middle of nowhere and you have a 5,000 acre farm and you just have a specific amount of bunnies and you keep breeding them among them because you just you just don't have available genetics but I wouldn't do it just swap yeah you take two of your bunnies and swap it with somebody else who has the same bunnies you get their genetic they get your genetic next time you swap it with somebody else so you don't you know minimize the same gene pool just don't inbreed I, I would say no but yes they can inbreed um, I think the rule was 
daughter can can uh, mate with the, a dad can mate with a daughter uh, a mom can wait mate with a son but brothers cannot mate that was the rule still don't do it don't 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 destroy your genetic uh, your genetic uh, viability by inbreeding next question uh, can meat rabbits be pets of course they can be they're they're just the cutest and the most lovable pets they can have they do leave a lot of hair but so does they molt two or three times a year depending on the weather so just like dogs and cats that's an inconvenience for all your carpets <laughs> but yeah the listen with with bunnies they can be pets but i would i would just go for the minis and the loops and the tiny versions of them because the bigger they are the more they poop the more they pee and their pee just stinks man it's so high in ammonia that it's insane it's corrosive it literally burns to the metal mash uh, mesh mash that you put on the bottom of their hutch so you make sure that when you do build their hutch you put um um, plastic covered you know coated encased mash don't put just basic wire because it's going to rust it's going to be corrosive uh, i consider them as pets because my interest in them is for poop uh, is for the the cuddle factor and eventually when they're going to be old and plump enough I'm not going to say no to, to harvesting them. But right now, I need their fertility more than I need the meat. So yes, there can be pets. I have mixed feelings about that in, a, in an apartment, small space uh, situation. Can meat rabbits eat grass? Yes, we covered that. Just be careful not to give them uh, wet grass. Where are meat uh, rabbits popular? That's a very good question. So if you're watching this video, you may be a minority uh, in the sense that not many people look um, at homesteading or at, at backyard gardening or at even pets and say, yeah, I'm going to have rabbits. Uh, it's usually, you know, dogs, cats, gerbils, uh, hamsters, uh, bef before you get into the conversation about rabbits. And uh, when it comes to back backyard gardening, it's chickens, um, quails, and dogs. <laughs> Homesteading, yes. Uh, but first you get chicken and ducks and geese and goats, and maybe after that you get rabbits. So where am I going with this? Uh, it's not a um, widespread animal anymore. In the past, it used to be. But still, there are countries where uh, people eat um, a, a high amount of uh, meat rabbits and that those countries are China, Italy, Spain, France. Uh, why? I don't know exactly. Maybe there's just a culture thing, a cultural thing where they just ate um, bunnies, uh, bunny meat, rabbit meat uh, traditionally and it just stuck with them. Uh, just like in some countries beef is king in other countries pork is king you name it but those are the countries where the the rabbit meat is most popular where to find meat rabbits um, as i said before your your facebook marketplace and all of those spaces if you want to buy uh, petting zoos if you just want to see and interact with them before you get them just to get the experience or just go to a farmer who raises them and who, who can be a potential, I almost said potential target. <laughs> but yeah, who can be a potential place to buy them from, see how the farmer treats them, how, or like homesteader, uh, how, how they're being kept, uh, do they sit in their own fields and, and, uh, and all of that. Um, yeah, that, that's it. Next. Oh. Before I move to the next one, you can actually find them in some grocery stores. Uh, I've seen them more and more recently in um, Kaufland. This is like a German retailer that's all over Europe. Uh, they, they provide meat rabbits and you can buy them in the frozen aisle. Fresh, nice. I don't know if they're, uh, if they're dry aged. Probably not. Probably they're just fresh and, and packed and frozen. But 
you can find them in some shops that's what i'm trying to say next um where to buy live live meat rabbits we answered that question how to keep meat rabbits we answered that question before how many times how to keep meat rabbits is going to be next question where to sell meat rabbits um facebook marketplace olex craigslist the same the same place if you want to be a seller just like a buyer or farmers markets uh, there's a uh, animal or livestock exchange i think they're called but there's segments of the farmers markets here where uh, for example saturday is just fruits and vegetables and then sunday morning at around six in the morning people just bring bring livestock in the in the place where the farmers market is so you can try that as well just word of mouth you can ask people about this and that and you'll find out next question are meat rabbits worth it the answer is yes next question are meat rabbits profitable it depends why what profit you want to make if it's financial i cannot answer the question because i'm not selling them i'm not selling the meat i don't have a bunny farm i don't sell them for easter so i cannot answer that question but the question that you need to ask yourself is what is profitable for you for me profitable is all the fertility that i get from the uh, manure last year this place was a uh, manicured lawn and a couple of fruit trees because of their manure and because of all the work that I've been doing with the regenerative gardening and agriculture in mind, I've transformed this place um, a lot in one year. I mean, it's it's a lot for one year. People tell you that you cannot build soil. It takes 50 years to build one inch of soil. That's bullshit. These guys are my partners. And that for me is profitable because of them and their poop. I don't have weeds because I feed them the weeds. Because of them and their poop, I have amazing tomatoes and amazing fruit trees and amazing berry bushes and uh, potatoes and, and sunchokes. You name it. Everything that I'm growing is growing on the substrate of their poop. So for me, that's really profitable because their shit is the shit. <laughs> um, what else is profitable? Well, the, I spend ample time with them every day and i cuddle and i kiss them and i love them and they make me feel good and they calm me down so how about that uh, profitability in uh, mental sanity and and stress relief and and just general well-being you know they say let a cat purr uh, sit on your lap and purr and that's gonna reduce the risk of heart attacks and all of uh, and all of that the same with the bunnies there's a profitability in your well-being uh, by having these animals so uh, for me is yes 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 you need to ask yourself these questions and then answer them based on what i just said or other factors next question are meat rabbits good pets we answered that question the answer is yes are meat rabbits good oh man they're so good uh, in every way that you want to answer uh, ask the question are they good for pets yes are they good for meat yes are they good for uh, fertility yes are they good for companionship yes 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 is there anything bad about them their pee it smells horrible but some people harvest the pee as well found ways to collect the pee and use it as fertilizer so i need to step up my game next question are meat rabbits dot 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 are meat rabbits what next question are meat rabbits meat eaters no they don't eat meat they're um they're herbivores by nature uh, and in extreme situations they will eat uh, grains but it's not indicated to give them grains because they don't have the enzymes in their stomach to digest them so even if they will eat them and crunch on them like corn or whatever grains you you think you're going to give them wheat oats barley buckwheat they do not do well and again that sensitive digestive tract if you get clogged it's game over so just bear this in mind uh, they they need their specific diet which is all the grass and all the hay and vegetables and herbs with you know specific caveats there but um, they're herbivores 
just like cows are herbivores and why would you feed cows dead cows why would you feed cows corn they're not supposed to eat that that's why you get mad cow disease that's why you get beef from the kfo that makes you sick and gives you all kind of fucking disease and cancers and hormonal imbalances and allergies nature intended things to happen in a specific way why can we fucking follow nature's pattern because we're stupid <laughs> that's why because we're blind and we need to wake the fuck up and just mimic nature she has three and a half maybe more billion years of experience behind her what the fuck do we have Two hundred thousand years maybe that's what that's a fart you know in the grand scheme of things so let's look at how nature does things that's what i do every day even if i have sometimes the impulse um uh, i'm gonna do this because i know better because i'm human and i'm in charge here and i'm gonna manage and then pff, i get slapped by nature it's like no you don't know shit so this is how it's done power of observation look in nature what rabbits eat they will never eat what most people feed them like carrots because they're full of sugar and they're very sensitive to sugar so if you feed them sugary fruits like watermelon and carrots and anything that's high in fructose you're gonna fuck them up okay rant over i'm done next question are rabbit meats good to eat yes are rabbit meats halal oh that's an interesting question uh i don't know much about the 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 muslim religion uh what i do know is that i can put a um, link in the description that i found useful when i researched this question myself and the quick answer yes rabbit meats are halal why that that uh, link in the description is going to explain properly why because i didn't read the quran i don't have any knowledge about um like specific knowledge about the, what the religion considers halal or haram and so on but i do know it's very important the way the animal is harvested so there has to be no blood in the system in the meat that that contributes to the halal stamp of approval next question why is rabbit meat not popular i think we i covered it before it's it's just not as practical or as easy as chicken meat and oh my there's a whole story about the chicken meat uh, but i'm not going to do this i'm not going to tell it to you guys now because this video is going to be five hours long i'm happy to in a future video just keep asking me in the comments about the how chicken meat became so popular and i'll tell you a good story um uh, why is rabbit meat healthy well it's low on cholesterol high in protein it's a lean meat and um and yeah it's very depending on what you feed it it can be very high in, in vitamins and minerals and micronutrients just take good care of the bunnies and treat them as natural as possible and it can be medicine meat instead of something that's going to harm you and your family next question why rabbit meats why not why raise rabbit meats oh my god because of all the reasons that we just explained why is rabbit meat bad for you because the same reason as why it's gonna kill you yeah we need fat this is low on fat high on protein how to keep meat rabbits this is the bane of my existence right now this is the fourth fourth or fifth time when i have this question how to keep meat rabbits you keep them by the back of the neck if this is the, the reason of the question how to move them from point a to point b here behind the back of the neck they have a floppy piece of skin and that's how you take them properly so they don't scratch and and disembowel you <laughs> i'm exaggerating of course but my hands are full of of scars and and deep uh, wounds that they they just do because it's instinctive they they they're prey animals they feel in endangered they feel threatened so they scratch they have amazing <laughs> claws and i wouldn't advise you to snip their claws because they need it it's part of their behavior and you shouldn't they need to scratch things they need to dig for things so yeah you grab them from this piece of skin and you move them from point a to point b 
point A to point B, make sure it's not five kilometers apart because this will hurt eventually. This is like for short distances, yeah? If you need to move them longer distances, put them in a box with a lot of airs, uh, with a lot of holes made for, for airflow and ventilation. Or if it's a medium distance, just put them in a bag and let them take their head out of the bag so they know what's happening. Next question. Um, can meat rabbits be pets? Yes. Can meat rabbits eat? Dot, dot, dot. I'll put the link in the description. Does rabbit meat have protein? Yes. It has 33% protein per 100 grams of serving. Does rabbit meat uh, taste good? Amazing. Yes, it does. I told you. Bit, like a mix between chicken and deer meat. It's fantastic. Does rabbit meat have cholesterol? Very low cholesterol in fat. Does rabbit meat have nutritional value? Yeah, of course, it's very good and healthy if you eat it with other things. But again, when you look online for nutritional value for rabbit meat, it's a specific amount in a specific diagram. But what is it based on? Is it based on a rabbit meat raised in a CAFO? Or is it based on a rabbit meat that I'm raising or that John is raising or that Joel Salatin is raising. This is going to influence those number and parameters hugely depending on what that rabbit eats. Does it eat just pellets? Does it eat grass and pellets? Does it eat just grass and hay? Does it have herbs and, and aromatics and you know. Yes, it has it has uh, a very good nutritional value but depends on what you put into that bunny next question can <laughs> can rabbit meats kill you well we answered this question i'm not laughing because of that i'm laughing because i just had uh, this flash inside of my mind of rabbit meat just attacking you and disemboweling you like <laughs> like a mythical creature yes they can kill you because of poison uh, protein poisoning does rabbit meat smell bad it doesn't smell bad unless in the butchering process you puncture the 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 sack where the pea is kept what's the name of that the bladder <laughs> the sack where the pea is kept so that's why i said i'm going to put that link in the description where um, I think Daniel Salatin is his name, Joel Salatin's uh, son, is processing the meat rabbits. Uh, he's going to show you how to do it in such a way that you're not going to ever puncture or, or damage the, the bladder. As soon as that pee goes on the meat, man, even if you wash it into 15 waters, it's still going to have that... I don't even know the word for it, but... It happened to me once when I was uh, younger and at my uncle's house because he used to have a lot of meat rabbits and he taught me how to butcher them. It's almost unusable. So just be very careful with that and then the meat is not going to smell bad. Just be careful with the bladder. Next question. Almost done. Just bear with me. <laughs> I know it's been a long time. Almost done. Woo! What's rabbit meat called? Rabbit meat. What rabbit meat? I don't understand this question. What rabbit meat tastes like? We answer. What does rabbit meat? Uh, what does rabbit? What do meat rabbits eat? We cover that. What do meat rabbits sell for? We cover that. What meat rabbits? What meat is rabbit meat like? It's white meat and it tastes like chicken and deer meat combined. What to feed meat rabbits? Again, I'll put um, a link in the description with what they can eat and what they cannot eat. What I feed them is all the grass and all the weeds from my garden, especially they love dandelion, dandelion for some reason and horsetail. Now, there's the, both of those plants are very medicinal, so maybe they know something that we forgot. Um, but I also supplement with a small, I would say, quarter cup of, um, of pellets per day. 
that that's just for extra minerals and vitamins and just something uh, hard to chew on because their teeth keep on growing non-stop and if they don't chew on something hard the teeth can grow and just keep their mouth open and again they can die because they cannot eat and uh, these meat pellets that uh, I, I feed them they're GMO free they're quite expensive but um, you know I, I love these bunnies so sometimes they well sometimes I think they're being taken care of better than I am taken care of taken care of speaking is not easy <laughs> so fucking hard <sighs> okay last question what are some meat rabbit breeds so I said uh, Californian New Zealand uh, Rex, uh, Belgian, uh, I had some notes here maybe, Flemish giant, and then you have multiple crosses of these breeds. I think these are the OG breeds, not OG, they've been mixed bred and, and they got to those standard breeds in time uh, because, you know, selective breeding. But start there, just do a quick Google and you'll find a list. I think it's 27 or 37 selected meat rabbit breeds. And that concludes. Wow. Oh, my mouth hurts. I haven't been speaking so much in a long time. Because, you know, I didn't have a YouTube channel where I can speak. But now I do. Humbert Homesteader Vlogs is live and I can talk again. I have my voice back. Not to bitch about it because, you know, the main channel is beautiful and it was a conscious decision to make that channel what it is today. It's a place where you go and you just live a day with us here in the garden and you see the transformation of the garden and it's artistic and it's, you know, devoid of my annoying constant chatting about that because I talk a lot but I need to speak I need to express what I know I share with you guys what I want to share and 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 I want to learn from you so this is not just me talking at you I want to learn from you I want you in the comments to tell me that I'm wrong that I fucked up that I don't know what I'm talking about or that it was useful and uh, everything is nice and dandy you know that saying nice and dandy I promise this is, um, you know, the fake coffee. I'm not being hyperactive for no reason. This is me. This is how I am without coffee. I haven't had coffee in, in three days. Imagine how I am on the third cup of coffee. But only because I want to... I want to reach out to as many people as possible interested in, in homesteading and gardening and regenerative gardening and agriculture because I think we can make a change, a positive change. And it's one by one. It's individual by individual. I think an old Chinese proverb says, if everybody would clean in front of their door, the, the whole world would be clean. So that's what I'm saying here. I'm saying that if each and every one of us would grow as much of their food as possible or buy as much of their food as possible from their neighbor or, or community farmer, community gardener. Uh, all this CSA and community gardens would, would just pop out. And it's, why not? Why not? We, we sacrifice so much for comfort and commodity and, and now we're suffering. We're sick, we're sterile, we cannot make kids anymore and we're dying with the fifth cancer uh, in the in organs that we didn't know cancer can be in so enough doom and gloom I hope you liked this video nah um, let me know in the comments if this format is something that you're interested in because there's endless possibilities that I can go through what I know I'm not gonna take a topic from out of my butt just for the sake of doing a video you guys let me in the comments know uh, what would you be interested in hearing about and I can do the all them questions about basically anything it takes a bit of time for me to go on Google and gather all these questions but as soon as I have the time I'll make the video I'll publish it it's no fast video you see it's like just me sitting on a bench drinking fake coffee and talking to you 
and asking for your opinion and I'm asking for your input and I want to learn from you. So I'll stop now because you have to do something, I think, which is like and subscribe. And if you have some spare change laying around, some money that uh, is not going to take away from uh, your daily comfort and commodity, uh, please support me on Patreon because my bunnies really love this GMO free pellets and they're expensive. But I would like to keep them healthy and happy and nice. So you supporting me supports them and everything that I do here in this amazing, beautiful, small, delicious, fantastic, clean, regenerative garden that I have here. Thank you very much. See you next time.